Please, it is Dan here, and today I'm going to be talking about Ubik by Philip K. Dick, uh, which is like a classic science fiction novel. In fact, it is uh, an SF masterwork, according to the copy that I have borrowed off a friend of mine. Uh, now, normally I would maybe start by giving a bit of a synopsis of the plot, um, or at least the inciting incidents, but like half the point of this book is that it's supposed to be really confusing you don't know what's going on so describing the plot is really difficult but here goes so this book was first published in like 1969 uh, but all the events take place in a 1992 setting so obviously that was far in the future when the book was written but uh, sort of with the benefit of hindsight, we can see that Philip K. Dick's idea of what 1992 would look like is not like super accurate, but you know, fair enough. He sort of takes consumer culture to uh, an absolute extreme, which I mean, actually is probably the most uh, prescient aspect of the world building in this book. But there's also stuff like colonies on the moon and Mars, which obviously we don't have. Um, and there's people with various kinds of psychic abilities and also people with uh, anti-psychic abilities and they sort of form into X-Men type groups that sort of combat each other and then there's also like a load of stuff about when people die they can be put into this kind of like cryogenic sleep type thing uh, called Half-Life and their consciousness can be sort of preserved so they can be contacted for a, a little bit after they die. It doesn't really say exactly how long, but it's, you know, a, a number of years anyway. So, yeah, obviously none of that actually happened in 1992. But you just got to kind of think of it as the future still. Um, we mainly follow uh, a character called Joe Chip, who is, uh, he's not a psychic, but he works for one of these like anti-psychic X-Men type groups uh, called Runciter Associates. And his boss, Glenn Runciter, accepts a job for this group on the lunar space colony, which they accept, they go off to this space colony, but it turns out to be a trap. And then everything goes completely like batshit crazy, and we get into all kinds of stuff about parallel worlds and about the uh, nature of reality and uh, how the identity of the self. Like, loads of big thematic questions, basically, for the rest of the book in a super confusing narrative. So yeah, that's about the best I can do for uh, a synopsis, really, without major spoilers and I guess the, the question is you know is it any good and I don't know actually really I guess it must be right because it's a, a, a sci-fi masterwork uh, well, maybe I'm just not reading it right I mean don't get me wrong I'm not saying this is a terrible book or anything it does some stuff like really well I mean, the world building is strong. Philip K. Dick, like, right from page one, drops you into this world that's got all these crazy different technologies, and they've all got their own jargon and technical words that go along with them and slang words that you, you haven't heard before. But, you know, without him ever actually outright exposition, explaining exactly how any of this works, you very quickly get an idea of, how it all fits together with the general human experience and how it, it how it would have would have changed life for just you know normal day to day people and the character of Joe Chip is really the the vehicle for getting a lot of this across. He does have like a pretty normal nondescript sort of life. He's kind of close to the bottom of the heap in a lot of uh, respects. And much of his sort of like general annoyance at the state of affairs, uh, the status quo as it were, is portrayed with like loads of humour uh, in a lot of ways. But then also it can be quite depressing at points, so you get those two sides of it. And, you know, another thing is sort of like 
a lot of classic sci-fi, or at least, I mean, I haven't read loads of it, but what I have read, it, you know, the, the real strong point of it is hitting these big questions, these big themes that uh, I've sort of mentioned before. And that's what this book does really well. Uh, it will ask you all these questions, but just do not expect any help with the answers. You've got to work it all out for yourself. You know, like, who's dead? What does death even really mean? Is reality anything more than our perception? Are we all just characters in somebody else's dream? I mean, you get all this kind of, all these questions going on, but there's no real, like, moralising about it. It's completely left to you to make up your own mind on the, on the ethics of it, really. But yeah, I mean, I did have some, some problems with the book as well. And, you know, a lot of it is personal taste stuff and also not being familiar with the genre, like that bit familiar with it anyway, I think. I mean, my, well, because my main problem, really, and this is a feature, I think, of, of certain subgenres of science fiction, is that this is not like a proper story with a coherent narrative or with like arcs for any of the characters or with any sense of resolution but i can also see that the nature of the novel that philip k dick was trying to write here means that having a coherent narrative or any kind of resolution would actually detract from the questions that he's trying to ask and I also understand that, you know, classic sci-fi does not necessarily concentrate very heavily on developing its characters. Uh, it's much more interested in the overarching themes. So again, you know, perhaps that's not a particularly legitimate complaint on my part. The thing is, though, I think I just struggle without those features in a novel. You know, perhaps it's just because it's what I'm used to and it's definitely a matter of personal taste. But it did just mean that I didn't necessarily feel like I connected very strongly with this book. So yeah, anyway, you bit by Philip K. Dick. I think if uh, you know it, it's supposed to be a classic of science fiction, so if you're into classic sci-fi, then yeah, yeah, read it. And I was recommended it by a couple of people who are very much into their sci-fi. So I guess it was a bit disappointing for me, but I think it's more disappointing that. Perhaps I don't like this kind of sci-fi. Because I'd really like to like it. Anyway, there you go.